This is a toy spot on the Spider-Man Classic Series 2 figures. Today we're looking at Battle Damaged Spider-Man. And let's have a look at the packaging before we get this figure opened up. As you can see, Spider-Man Spider has seen better days. Also includes a very interesting, very cool lizard diorama stand. And it says six inch Spider-Man with 30 points of articulation and collector wall mountable display stand. Um, on the back of the packaging, the Battle Ravaged Spider-Man, which I think I actually said Battle Damaged, but the amazing Spider-Man uses his sensational spider powers to protect society from the world's most dangerous supervillains. It takes all of his superhuman strength, speed, and agility to fight the forces of evil. He often faces unsurmountable odds and is forced to combat numerous opponents at the same time. Not even his amazing uh, early warning spider sense can always keep him from being hurt while in battle. However, spiders... Uh, Spidey's incredible determination and will to win lets him triumph in battles against impossible odds. In the process, his world-famous red and blue costume is often torn to shreds. It's a good thing that our hero created his own costume and knows how to sew up a replacement. Where else can a superhero bring their costume to be mended? Where else? You know, I almost think that that would be a lucrative business if you were to start that up. Sewing up superhero costumes. Uh, down below the other figures in this wave, aside from the Battle Ravaged Spider-Man, we've also got the Rhino, we've got a Daredevil, and then we've got the classic Spider-Man. And I believe I actually have reviewed this Spider-Man already. A nice little set. Uh, so there is packaging. There is packaging on the Battle Ravaged Spider-Man. What we'll do is we'll get this opened up, and we'll... Uh, We'll have a better look at the figure. Stay tuned, guys. So much more to come. Boy, I gotta say, that Spider-Man, boy, he is in some bad, bad shape. You gotta get some help, man. Look at you. Look at you. You're falling apart. You can't even keep your clothes. Look, your clothes, are, you're messed up, man. Straighten out your life. Do something else. Anyways. Let's have a look at the figure now that he's out of his package. I can tell you one thing I really like about this figure, and that's the fact that his costume, uh, where his his skin is exposed, um, is actually not just paint. I really hate the fact that they take a figure, and when they add any changes uh, to the figure, whether it's damaged or what or whatnot, Justice League figures are really bad for this. They'll actually just take paint, and they'll just you know paint little areas where their costume is ripped but there is no feeling that the costume is really ripped this figure however even if you can see his legs the pant leg is ripped open you can actually see the fabric all separated both legs there um, in his hands and uh, even in his fingers even if you see here his fingers aren't just painted uh, flesh color. You can actually see where his finger on his glove has been ripped away because it's it's a raised surface. I think that's really neat. I think that is really neat. Uh, normally, I'm not really a fan of Spider-Man figures such as this. Uh, really, more so, I don't. I hate Spider Sense figures, where there's usually like the Spider-Man figures in half. One side you see Peter Parker, one side you see Spider-Man. Hate those figures. Um, battle damaged figures, on the other hand, I actually really like. If, it, if it's done well, I think it's really, really neat. Uh, this figure is a good example of a figure done really well. Um, now this figure, for the most part, um, really, if I can find the figure here, and the figure is right here. If I pull in, bring in the Spider-Man, McFarlane Spider-Man, you'll actually notice that it is using the exact body as this battle-ravaged Spider-Man. And the only, of course the only thing they've done is they've made some slight tweaks in the mold of the figure, certainly given him a different mask as well. But body-wise, he utilizes the same body.
yeah, you should be looking more like that and less like that. Uh, so we'll move Spider-Man out of the way here. Uh, this figure actually is really nice. And I almost thought I wasn't going to like it when I saw it in packaging because um, it, like the paint seemed really dark on him. Like even in his flesh colored, it's really, really dark. But I guess you can justify it that it's dirty because he's, you know, he's been bat and battling and, and whatnot. Um, I don't know if it's deliberate, but can you see that? He's actually even got discoloration on the one side of his, his mouth where his teeth are, almost like he's been bloodied. He's got like a bloodied side of his mouth. I think that's really neat. The fabric's been ripped off in some areas. Some areas it's kind of just hanging there on the back there. Even on the back you can actually see. Can you see that? He's actually got hair sticking out of his mask. Um, I mean, they really, for a 2000 figure, this is a really neat figure. Really, really cool. Um, now, in the way of his articulation, his articulation is the same as the other figures. Uh, there is no articulation in the bicep. He has a, a pin and socket joint in the shoulders. He can bend the elbows in two points. He can ro rotate the forearm, although this forearm's a little stiff. Rotate the forearm, you can bend the hand. And oh, look at that too. You can even see that his web shooter looks like it's been ripped from his glove, like it's it's more exposed in his glove than it should be. Um, but you can bend the fingers, of course bend the hand. Uh, you can rotate the mid-torso. You rotate the waist. You can bend the legs back and forth. Rotate the thigh, bend at the knees in two points. You can rotate the the calf, bend at the foot, and bend at the toe. So same articulation as all the other Spider-Man figures. And uh, I hate to sound like a, uh, a paid advertisement, but wait, there's so much more. On top of having this really, really cool Spider-Man figure, it has what I believe to be one of the coolest Spider-Man diorama stands. And I'll just, speaking of stand, if I can get the Spider-Man 2 stand, if I can get him to stand. You know what, we'll just, he's had, a, he's had a rough day. We'll just let him lay down, take a rest. Um, he has one of the coolest dioramas. Um, it, as you can see, it's Lizard. Lizard looks like he's not doing all that well either. But he's been, uh, it looks like he's in concrete or he's in like, a, yeah, like I guess a concrete flooring. There's webbing all over him as well. Uh, there's some steel girders that have been wrapped around his neck and his waist uh, to kind of keep him there. Um, while that's cool enough, you can actually take his arm and you can actually, can't really do too much else with the arm, but you can move the arm in and out. Um, you can also move his head and you can also open up his jaw. So you can actually have him say, why? I, why? I just asked for some money. But you can have him uh, kind of stuck in there. He, uh, similar to all other Spider-Man figures too, they also come with a waist clip. Now, it doesn't actually have a ball joint, unlike the other figures, so you can really only just peg it into place. There's a little piece of plastic there. Um, but you can take Spider-Man, who is laying down there, and we can have him... Oh, also, it's got the same thumbtack uh, hole that you can peg into place. So, if you wish, you can certainly have Spider-Man, you know, pegged in at his waist. You can have him suspended on from the wall if you want to do it that way. There is also two foot pegs, one right by his hand, one o over here as well. And you can also have the Spider-Man standing in the foot pegs. So, uh, there's a couple of different choices. You can certainly have him two different ways if you, if you really like. But I, I really like the display stand. That's neat. And uh, if you almost don't even have a lizard figure, this 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 display can also serve as a lizard figure as well. If you want to just have him, you know, having just battled and defeated defeated him. But we'll move that aside. And the overall impression of this figure, this is this figure is one of my favorites. And it, it seemed the more I look at the figure. And now that he's out of the package, the more I actually really, really like the look of him. So much so that despite this figure being, what, I think it's about eight years old, seven years old, 
uh, this figure I would give that about a seven. A really neat figure to pick up and being that there isn't very many da damaged Spider-Man figures out there I would say this is a is a figure that's worth picking up. So a seven. So that concludes a toy spot. Today we were looking at the Spider-Man Classics Wave 2 or Series 2 and today we were looking at the Battle Ravaged Spider-Man. Thumbs up from this guy and I'll see you guys next time.